the no man's land is a small space of land existing between two countries' borders. Namibian Police Inspector General Lieutenant General Sebastian Deitunga says the no man's land territory is meant for security officials of the two bordering countries to conduct patrols of their respective borders. He warns against the illegal occupation of such land, saying some farmers and business people have recently begun occupying these spaces, some even going so far as to fence them off. We have a serious uh, problem mm -hmm. when it comes to our borders, even not only at the, board, at the Kalahari border post. Uh, you know, in, in the national demarcation between the countries, there should always be no man's land. And you have got even the farm, farms or farmers who have uh, fenced off even the no man's land. And uh, this uh, um, impedes or it encroaches with the normal operations of uh, border patrol. We can't patrol the borders between our uh, neighbors because the, the, the gates of these farms are locked. The police chief says this is not only serious violation of Namibian laws, but also contravenes international treaties overseeing the movement of people and goods through border posts. He says illegal occupation of these areas create loopholes for illegal goods to be traded from country to country, which contributes to corruption and the illegal trade in drugs, as well as poached resources and human trafficking. The people should understand and they should respect even in the national um, laws that in regard to um, the, the international borders, you can't fence off um, no man's land. Authorities say there should be a reasonable distance between the farms and the cordon fence of the borders. The Namibian police is therefore restoring order at all border posts starting with the eviction of those illegal operating businesses in no man's land areas near the border gates. Farmers and members of the public are requested to cooperate with authorities in its endeavor to restore order and safety for the country. Daniel Nadunya, NBC News, Kalahari Border Post, Omaheke.